Hey, what's going on everyone? It is Sunday, October 16th. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I mean, even though it's Sunday, my weekend kind of was only consisting of Friday and Saturday. But uh, today's gonna be kind of like a, I guess a laborious day, if that's even a word, that's a word. Uh, it's gonna be really kind of like physically hard for me because I might as well just show you guys. So, I cleaned out my workroom. And if it don't mean I look like it, it's a lot better than before. I rearranged a lot of things. For example, like these lights here. They, uh, let me see. These lights here, um, how do people do this? This one and this one right here, they are obviously facing the, uh, kind of like the backdrop that I kind of made for my studio right there. And, um, this, all this took me, honestly, like, not that long to actually clean up because this, this room was, like, shared by, like, three people. Um, uh, Nico and Nav moved everything out from that closet in that room, put it in here. But those guys are super messy, so all they did was just put it in, like, boxes and just throw it over to the side. So I had to make sure that all of that was kind of situated. All, this box right here is just things that Nav has to go through to, um, you know, put away, put away all his clothes. I cleaned out the closet as much as I could. But these guys are like girls. They have clothes that they like never ever wear. So um, they're gonna have to like donate some of that. Uh, sugar glider cage just needs to be cleaned, but that's gonna stay where it's at. Um, floor needs to be vacuumed. Bed is going to be for Nico because Nico's gonna be staying in this room for the for the remainder of time that he's here. But the main thing is that I rescheduled, not rescheduled. I redid basically everything in this room. That sounds a lie. I'm I'm, I'm guess like I interior decorated everything. But I just moved everything, and I like this setup here because everything is centralized. Before I had the machine over there, table was like here, but like maybe like a foot this way, so I had to get up and get everything. I'm super lazy if you couldn't tell, but uh, everything is centrally located right here, so everything is good. Uh, the backdrop with the hats makes for a good, uh, just a backdrop for whenever I do YouTube. All my all my videos are vlogs, so I don't know when I'm going to actually like be be standing here talking to you guys or doing whatever but yesterday I did try to do like a little like a channel introductory video that took me like a hundred takes hey what's going on everyone hey what's going on hey what's going on everyone hey what's going on everyone this is Moses Vega with hey what's going on everyone Fuck. hey what's going on everyone this is Moses Vega with headquarters brand welcome to the YouTube channel where we custom cut and sew snapbacks and custom apparel I hope you guys stick around because I post a brand new video twice a week. If you guys haven't already, check out the other videos that I posted and at the same time subscribe so that way you guys get notified whenever I drop new content. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, the links down to that are in the description down below. To be honest, Snapchat and Instagram is probably what I'm most active on, so go ahead and follow me on those sites. So guys, thank you so much for clicking on some of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. One thing I didn't mention to you guys is that while I was out in Japan, I met I met this really cool guy that happened to manage a rap artist out there. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, dude, I want to send you guys some stuff. Maybe you guys can take a couple of pictures in return and send them back to me. He said, yeah. So what I'm going to be working on today, seeing as today's Sunday and I do all my shipping out on Monday. Um, this is just a list of the things that I'm going to send out. They're all, they're all masks and stuff like that. I don't know if the camera's going to focus. The camera's not going to focus. But... Uh, it's going to Masaya, that's his name, and he's out in Osaka, Japan. And then um, I'm going to send him about five masks. I'm going to send my boy Celine like five masks. And um, the whole point of that, the whole point of sending these guys out the masks and stuff like that is because I want to make this, I want to make this line for the people. You know what I'm saying? This may not be something that you're going to wear every single day, but it, it just adds a little bit of mysteriousness to you, uh, or I guess a little bit of mystery to you. And just a little bit of a little bit of style to yourself. So, um, you know, for like pictures and stuff like that. Whenever you go out to the club, I, I like I rock my shit at the club, and you know, I, I get shown love. So that's pretty cool. But um, the reason why I'm sending out to, to to different people is because I know a lot of different people that are in different social groups and um, are into different lifestyles. For example, Messiah out in Japan. So they they have a whole different culture out there. But their culture accepts people wearing like face masks and stuff like that for, for multiple reasons I'll get into later. But um, I'm sending them out to that. I'm sending them out to him for that. 
Uh, Salim, I showed him, and he's more of the streetwear type of guy. So he's out there in Philly, and he knows a lot of people that that ride like motorcycles, dirt bikes, and stuff like that, and four wheelers in the streets. So that'll be that'll be a good look. I'm gonna send some out to hopefully my boy Mark, so that way, cause he's more of the upscale living, Miami, LA, and stuff like that. So I haven't reached out to him yet, but hopefully, you know, he'll be on board to take a couple pictures for me. And um, every time I'll be on Snapchat, right, I always take pictures, like, covering my face. And even some of the videos I've done that. The, my friends are now starting to do it. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the type of shit that I've been doing, but it just it must be a weird coincidence because they never did that shit before, and all of a sudden they're doing it now. I use a, uh, a razor, obviously, to shave like all men do, but then I use, like, this... Um, I don't know, I guess a, a single blade. And that, that kind of allows me to get really close in and more accurate. But for the first time, I went right here and I have a rash there. I don't know if it's razor burn, but I never got it before. <laughs> it sounds weird because like, it's like I didn't get it from shaving, but I actually did. So I gotta use this Aquaphor that I use for like when I get new tattoos and I gotta put it on so that way it heals, because if not, it gets like really irritated. I only use like a little bit. All right, that's about too much. So, I just woke up from a well-deserved nap in my opinion, and I gotta get this room cleaned up. I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Since you're pretty ass, soon as you came in the door. I just wanna chill, got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced her to my stove. Showed her how to whip, and now she remakes it for low. She my track queen, let her hit the band go. We be counting up, watch how far them fans go. We just had to go, talking about your Lambos. I fit the six and grand, pop her on the grand flow. Man, I swear I love her, how she whip the tempo. Hit the strip club, we be letting fans go. Everybody hate her, we just call clean. Alright guys, so I'm going to start working on the list that I have here. Like I said, the top part is going to my guy out in Japan. Let me focus this in there. The top part is going to the guy out in Japan. He's going to get one, two, three, four, four pieces, maybe five. And then Salim out in Philly is going to get around the same. So I'm going to show you the raw ingredients that it takes to make them. This is my green python skin. This is not on the list, but it looked really cool. So, to be honest, I might use something out of this. Uh, next, blue python skin. This is going to Salim. More blue, more red. And one of my favorite ones is natural. And um, imported Italian lambskin. I don't just say that. This is literally imported from Solar for Italy. And this here is going to, obviously, the guy on Japan. I made a mask out of this myself, and I think it looks awesome. This is actually one of my favorite ones made out of this pattern. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the process because, you know, again, it's top secret. But I'm going gonna, gonna to show you guys the finished results, and you let me know what you think. All right, so I'm going to take a break. Uh, so far, this is what I got. This is the colorways that I'm rocking with. This is a natural with the black. Let me focus real quick. I'm sorry. Let me see, is it fucking... Okay, so natural with the black, natural with the black, a Japanese print with the black, red with the black, and blue with the black. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but you guys will see it. And this is black with the black. So obviously you can see that they're perforated at the bottom. So that way people are like, oh, can you breathe? Like, yeah, motherfucker, you can breathe. I want to introduce you guys to someone, okay? All right. You guys seen Patricia before, okay? This is Nav's wife, okay? Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. She's so beautiful, right? Got Nav. And I, I'm going to show you who she chooses to be with. You see this fuck face right here? <laughs> <laughs> this is what they look like now. Let me see. Uh, this right here. I really like this look. Let me see if I can focus on it. Okay, now all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. But anyway. Uh, you guys can, I guess, see the, the, I guess, the design of it. But that's that. Um, this I really like. 
actually like this one a lot i don't know why i think it's like the the uh, contrast between the colors this here boom so we have the italian lambskin right here and then the genuine python right here obviously it's going to be connected by the loops and that's going to go behind your ear and uh, before i made them out of um silk in the back of this lining but the silk like like whenever you breathe whenever you would breathe with them on and it was silk the silk it was so tightly wove, woven or woven woven it was so tightly made that the um the oxygen couldn't go through the fiber and you like you were <gasps> fucking suffocating and stuff but um uh, i ended up fixing that with just using 100 percent cotton fabric lining inside and obviously people were kind of like giving me shit about like oh can you really breathe through it you really can without the perforation but just just to add that you know so you don't have to ask those kind of questions i perforated it i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up these are going out i once i said again to japan and to philly and then i need to get some more stuff out but that's just me thinking out loud anyway i'm gonna end this vlog right here guys thank you guys so much for watching and um you know like like the video if you haven't already please subscribe that'd be awesome and i guess i will see you guys in the next one